And it's game time. Con X5 here. We're in the Unreal North Mix Cup here. A bunch of European guys told me they're going to play some video games. I said, well, let's not. Let's take a look-see. This is going to be round four of the round robin qualifiers. It's basically it's basically a two-on-two -two team deathmatch cup at this point, let's face it. And uh, best of three, I believe these maps are predetermined. Maybe the eliminate or maybe the uh, tie-breaking map can be voted on or, you know, chosen between the teams. But... First full match I've been able to cast. This is going to be Gummy and Cold M against Not in F51. We just watched Not in F51 win in three maps against Team France. Um, although, again, that was for qualifiers. And they're going to use the point system to decide who plays the finals. The finals will be a little bit later tonight in about, I don't know, say three or four hours. We can get exact times after this match. But right now, Blue already taking the lead. However, you see Gummy there with the... 100 armors, so he's doing a good job of just evading that, saying let's just, if we can outlast this 100, pick up some more vials and some weapons, control those, especially on campgrounds. Campgrounds has fewer weapons, I believe, than a lot of the other maps, it certainly feels like it does. And so, weapon control is probably more important on this map, given the size and the, uh, the lack of weapons, um, than on really even most other maps, just because it's so easy to get into a... Uh, and do a spawn kill cycle whenever you uh, whenever you deny weapons to the other team. So a couple good LGs coming out by Gummy to help negate the 100 armor. It's like Gummy kind of playing this quake style, running from the uh, from the rockets to the to the rail bridge. But uh, somebody needs to tell him that's only a 50 armor down there. Not going to do him a whole lot of good whenever uh, if they're giving up these amps. Looks like they're in position to make a play on it. Fortunately, they're in the dangerous position underneath there. I do think Blue grabbed it, and I think it was negated. Did they kill him off of it? Yeah, it looks like they did. So, Amp not going to play a role um, for the next, you know, minute and a half or so. So, we're going to go ahead and see if anyone's got any armor. This is one of those maps where... Uh, there's, I mean, you know, there's a 50, there's a 100, there's a couple vials, but for the most part, everyone's going to be running around with... Fairly, uh, fairly low health compared to a map like Rankin, say, where there's a bunch of vials and it's relatively large, and you can kind of dictate, dictate the flow of combat. So if you're low on health, you know, like we saw last game, you can you can run away, you can evade pretty effectively. It's kind of difficult on this map because when someone wants to chase you down, they can really force the issue. So we're gonna see, I think, a lot more kills with, uh, you know, prediction rockets coming around corners, a lot more combos just being spammed in the general direction, and of course, mini and link. Um, while they did play prominent roles in the last game, you're going to see them getting even more uh, even more kills this game because there you go. You see, you see him going down already. 26 health. Finishes him off with flak. This may even be a map where dual assault rifle gets used a lot more. Oh, as you see Gummy sneaking around with rockets. So Blue trying to be cheeky there and, uh, and kind of hide. Oh, wow. Was that a grenade kill? i got to watch that one. Yep, that was a grenade kill. Remember, kids, don't juggle grenades at home. 50 armor goes to Nato. He's going to try to head up here and see if he can pick up some vials and maybe a lightning gun. Ooh, Gummy predicts that perfectly. He's got amp on him, so he's going to run away. He will, he will get to take a shot at him if he wants to, but probably better off just being patient and letting that amp run out. So Gummy's got him in a tough position, but he does have his teammate coming over. Ooh, Cold M just dodges that lightning gun. Takes a shock for the trouble. And right now, Blue Team has the weapon advantage... So they're going to be in a, in a good position to try to at least push red around the map a bit. And I'm not sure what the timing on the 100 armor is. It should be up in about 10 seconds or so. And like I said, blue with the weapon advantage, I think we'll be able to push them off it pretty effectively. They seem to have virtually everything they need. <laughs> but of course, the weapons won't shoot themselves, and not eventually needs to, makes, needs to make a shot here. I see Gummy going on a killing spree. Five of his team's six kills coming from that. See the link kill, but I believe they gave up that 100 armor. Yep, it's going to go to Gummy, who is completely stacked. Blue team, or excuse me, uh, red team in good shape right now, but this next amp could be huge. Did they just forget about it? Yeah, Not sneaks in. Red completely distracted. Didn't even make a play on the amp, so not, not able to get a kill, but he did uh, do a ton of damage. And if this lightning gun spawns, he may, may be able to turn it into a kill. Uh, they see him up there, though. He's in kind of a bad position. He needs to get out of there. Well, now the uh, 50 armor goes untouched. 
If that lightning gun spawns, he might be able to get a kill. Steals it. Oh, it gets the double KO with the shield gun. That's one for the highlight reel. Not quite sure how the physics of that work. Hunter number spawning got taken. I believe that was his teammate. Yep, F51 able to grab that. So Blue now making a push for all these power-ups. They had been contesting them before, but they uh, they hadn't really been able to steal very many. Oh, thought he might get the crater kill there. Doesn't look like it's spawned yet, though. So he's trying to uh, finish that fight off. I'm not sure what the actual timing of AMP was, but it doesn't look like anyone grabbed it. Remember, Red Team completely mistimed it last time and, and gave it up to Knot, although Knot didn't do anything with it. He uh, you know, was able to negate it and hit control back, kick, uh, take control back for his team. So we're seeing a little bit of a lull here. As you see, F-51 playing kind of defensively, trying to be uh, methodical in his map control here. Oh, but he gives up the 100 armor there. Sometimes you got to be a little bit more aggressive. He does negate it with that uh, with that lightning gun. Or at least negate about half of it. That 51 just kind of running these uh, those top halls. Looks like not took that amp again. And I'm not sure if Red... It's hard to imagine Red not having timing of the amp because since it's in the middle of this map, you can hear it from anywhere you are. But they certainly weren't in position ahead of time to get it. And uh, that's going to end up costing them if they keep doing that. Oof, three LGs in a row by Knot. A couple quick kill, quick kills there, and now he's going to be able to boost. He's on a spree now. I was going to try to pick up some of those quick spawn kills like we talked about. You get a lot of spawns right in front of a weapon, but if that weapon's not there, then it's just easy pickings. And with, oh, wow, Gummy sneaks in and steals that 100 armor. So far, not able to get much done with it, but at the very least, he keeps it for himself. Does a little bit of damage to Not, but not getting that kill and that, that adrenaline while he's boosting is pretty much going to negate that. Red really needs to make a strong play on this amp if they want to have any chance of uh, turning this around. Not able to. I Again, I can't imagine they don't have timing on it, but they're not getting in position ahead of time. Of course, a fully, uh, a fully stacked Not is probably a bit of a deterrent whenever you're trying to run and jump into the middle of the map. So he's running around with Amp now, soaking up some more adrenaline, getting that much closer to another booster. Oh, grenade to the face. Doesn't hurt him that much, but it makes him think twice about chasing up that up that jump pad. And a good move here by Cold, by, uh, Cold M, just trying to break him down with minigun. Forcing Not to make a shot. Not can't finish him off. So uh, really a good job there by Cold M of just being aggressive and forcing Not to make a shot. Couldn't, come, couldn't connect with that flak, and he goes all the way down. I think I heard another booster pop. Looks like it's going to be F-51 now. Of course, with uh, with blue up by 10, they're going to get both of the first boosters, as you would expect. Now, Cold M trying to do basically the same thing. Just break down this booster by spamming him with the uh, with the Lincoln, uh, Lincoln LG. Not going to work, though. F-51 is going to sit up top here. I don't know if he's going to wait for that 100 armor. He doesn't really need it. Seems like he'd be better suited being aggressive and uh, and pushing forward with it. As we see a competing booster now, Gummy's going to boost. Try to take that amp. Not sure who got it. Looks like it was... Not, perhaps? Yeah, not able to steal that amp. Gummy was going for broke there. Boosted and jumped right on it. Risky move. Doesn't look like they killed him off of it, though. So, uh, kind of just a big chaotic blob of bodies there. However, Knot's got the amp on Gummy, so he can try to negate that booster. However, with only 75 health, he's going to opt to go for the map control, keep the, keep Red Team split up, and try to uh, push him off this 100 armor. If Knot's not careful, he's going to catch Gummy in his back here. Yep, there you go. Gummy's shooting rockets behind him. 50 armor's up, though, so Gummy must have just missed the timing on that. Knot gets free 50 armor. Picks up some adrenaline. I'm not sure what the timing of this 100 armor is. I don't know why Knot is still... Um, supporting that area. Instead, he dives around with a nice 180 LG. Both teams are still fighting as though 100 armor is spawning any second, so I think they're just making an early play on it since the... Uh, yep, there it comes. Gummy stealing another one away. So Red Team's done a much better job in the last couple minutes of taking these power-ups. And they're taking some damage in the meantime, but there you can see, he was still pretty stacked after that. Now he's going to get this 50 armor back. 
and uh, be ready to make the play on Amp, which should be spawning soon. And this is going to be a key Amp here because... Blue team is slowly losing this lead, but they're still getting all of these amps. Red hasn't really been able to make a strong amp run since the early moments of this game. And while they've done a much better job of contesting 100 armors and even running away with a couple, um, you know, you got to figure Blue's going to be getting these boosters again soon. And once they're boosting, and if they can keep controlling that amp, then that 100 armor doesn't really come into play because you can, as we saw earlier with, with Cold Amp, you can chew through 100 armor real quick, and you imagine doubling the damage. couple more kills coming out by Blue, extending that lead to 11 now with that amp run. Uh, however, they are fairly low on health. Gummy can move in and do some more damage. They can take him out here if uh, they get a couple good shots from the lightning gun or minigun or something. I think both teams are fairly low on health, however. Ooh, Red cuts him off at the 50. Good little ambush there as they just dive right in front of him and spam those entrances. And there's a couple different ways that you're, you're, you're going to find, or a couple different situations you're going to find yourself in in 2 on 2 You're basically either running with your partner and essentially kind of ebbing and flowing with the, with the map, kind of running uh, parallel to each other. Or you're in different spots, uh, essentially just trying to catch the other team in, in one-on-ones. Of course, the advantage to running together being that you're not going to get caught in a 2 on one but the advantage of uh, being separate is you can pick up more items and control more of the pickups. Cold M just gets predicted there. F-51 knew exactly what was going to happen. Waited for that sound effect. Good use of the audio. I think that was a goo kill that happened up there. Oh, no, it was rockets. All right, fair enough. This is a very effective map to use uh, Use the bio rifle, though. Mostly because there's so many choke points. I mean, being a quake map, you know, the movement in that game obviously being much more uh, linear than UTs. It's a lot more predictable, uh, the movement on this map. So, catch a lot of people coming around corners... And when they're stuck in one of those choke points, in one of those doorways, there's not really much they can do to avoid the giant blob of goo coming at their face. F-51, yeah, we'll, we'll call that an air rock. It, was, it wasn't the most impressive air rocket I've ever seen, but, you know, it counts. He was off the ground. He was in the air. If it were rocket arena, it would do extra damage. Yeah, I'm not sure what this amp timing is. Oof. Red just gets knocked off that 100 armor. And what we're seeing now is uh, Red kind of getting out of sync. We're seeing Cold M turning that corner again, uh, turning into that 100 armor. Turning that corner all by himself with no weapons. Not a good move, and I think that's something that you can you can sort of get lulled into in this map. Is that sort of meat grinder of just constantly running at the other team, trying to do damage just to get them down. But if it, if it takes you five lives to take someone down, then obviously you're not being productive with it. Amp comes up. Oh, Red Team, Gummy steals it away. Only got 72 life. He's going to try to head over to the 100 armor and probably just hold blue off of that and try to get a run going that way. If he has a booster, now would be a great time to use it, but obviously I can't see any adrenaline. They haven't been getting many kills lately. Getting one one there, that minigun. Oh, gets him, gets him out with a double kill. Needs to pick up some health, however. He's going to head over to the 100 armor and try to just uh, chase blue off of that. Looking for health packs wherever he can. I heard goo come to his back. There you go. Blue is in position above. So he's probably going to go around and take that jump pad up. But of course, that's going to leave him easily predicted. Susceptible to combos and rockets and all that all that bad stuff. 100 armor gets grabbed. Lots of damage to blue team going up there, though. Let's see what Cold M can do. As I think he's, he stole that 100 away from them, despite them having the numbers. Not able to connect on any of these shots. Does push him off, though. Red team might think about being aggressive here, because they know that blue doesn't, ha doesn't have that 100 armor for the first time in a while. <laughs> we see a double KO. However, red spawns right by there. 50 armor gets taken by blue. You heard that off in the distance. So red should pretty much just uh, be content to grab some weapons and maybe make a play on this amp. Oh. Oh. Well, I tried to get a good camera angle for you, but... Nothing really happened with that amp. Gets stolen away. Goes up the lift, however, which makes you... Or goes up the jump pad, which makes you very predictable. F-51 with the booster now. They're in perfect position to control that 100 armor, and just Red not really doing anything creative to attack that 100, and I think that's what's hurting them, is with only two people, there's really only two obvious ways to get up there. That is to say, the jump pad and turning the corner from rockets, both very predictable, both uh, very tight choke points, like I was saying, that are very easy to spam. I mean, you can you can hold people off of that with just Goo Gun. So what I think Red's going to need to do is either try to get in position ahead of time and you know give up some other pickups, to commit to holding them off the 100. Or maybe try something like, uh... 
what do you call it? The uh, like a, like a shield, like a piston jump up there, or maybe using the uh, the jump from the archway above the stairs there that you saw. Cold M boosting right here. F51 though, he boosted and hasn't taken any damage. I think he's gonna go for that hundred armor. Cold M just fighting not, not gonna get much done with the uh, with this booster. If he's not careful, he's gonna lose it all together. Rockets come in. Oh, that flak ball just missed, and there he goes. Booster, not really doing much with it. Um, kind of got cut out in the middle. Hundred armor gets taken. Not sure who took it. Shield gun kills coming in. See another booster coming out as F-51 is in great position for this amp. Gets knocked off it, however. Gummy's trying to come in and do what he can. Red has the numbers. They also have the amp, and somebody was boosting. It was Gummy. So cold in with the amp. Gummy with the booster. They're in good shape. They need to get some kills, though. They need to chase down blue and just throw as much downrange as they can. Oh, a suicide kill right on top of him takes out the amp. Let's see what Gummy's doing with this, with this booster. His blue team right now is about as low as they've been in a while. Red really needs to be aggressive right now. They've got him on the run. Cold M able to end that spree. They've got somebody cornered at, at minigun. Flakball coming down, doing damage to him. Needs to get this kill. Oh, falls off. Don't know when the 100 armor is, but they're going to need to go up there. They can't give it up. Oh, Rocket's coming out. Not able to get that 100 armor, though, so... Gummy's still going to be kind of weak as he, or it's just, I guess not really weak. Someone's not stacked as he's trying to make this push. As far as Red is concerned, they need to turn this into a, into a scrap. They need to turn it into a brawl to where nobody has high health because fast-paced gameplay right now is the only way that they're going to get back into this one with three and a half minutes left. And so uh, they just need to push the issue because at this point you can't be concerned about dying too much. You just need to you just need to jump in front and uh, like I said, for, force Blue Team to make shots and hope that they miss. Let's take a look at the scoreboard here real quick. See that amp getting taken. Gummy one with 21 health. Could really use a booster. I don't know what his adrenaline situation is. Gets a nice shot in there on F51. Picks up some health. Going to anticipate someone coming back for that 100. There's not. 100 armor's up. Doesn't go for it. He tries to get the kill, but there was a shield gun up, so it wasn't going to do anything there. So Gummy not able to do anything with that, with that amp. Did get one kill, but that's not going to do it. It's not fast enough for them. With two and a half minutes left, they need 16 kills. On a map like Campgrounds, crazier things have happened. But you really need to make use of those amps. And uh, they really, like I said, they really need to be aggressive here. Looks like Gummy can't quite figure out where he wants to cut off the blue team here. I'm not sure if there's a communication issue with his teammate. But he needs to get into the fray, because right now it's a 2v1 going on. And Cold M is just getting shot in the face here as uh, Knott's ready to go with a, with a booster. So kind of what we saw last game, very into the game, getting a late game booster, pretty much going to, uh, you know, like I say, stack on top of that 100 armor, pretty much make him invincible for, for a couple minutes here. Oh, shot's coming out. No, wow, not... With a complete stack, still got a booster going and has amp. And uh, that's bad news for the red team. This is pretty much going to seal it here because they're just not going to be able to do anything uh, against a fully stacked amp booster with a minute and a half left. You're pretty much going to have to get some rockets on them. Um, running out of time, 20 kills in a minute. Getting to the point of mathematical impossibility. So we'll go ahead and flip through some of the stats here. I do think both teams did a pretty good job of contesting the power-ups. Um, however, Red just really, really didn't get on top of those hundreds ahead of or early enough, I think. And since they didn't have the hundred, they really weren't able to get those those amps. I know we saw an early amp run, and a little bit of a you know a couple amps coming in for Red later, but they weren't really able to make any long runs with them. Whereas Blue made a little bit better use of their amps. Could be because they always had more health and armor. Um, certainly, once you get on top like they did by about 10 or 11 frags, you're going to get the first boosters, and that never hurts. Left. And I'm not sure of the second map. I believe the second map is predetermined. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's going to be DM Ages. Ages is an interesting map because it's not particularly big. So not unlike campgrounds, um, you're going to be able to really dictate, you know, you can really force the issue. 
I'm um, gonna dictate whenever the other team fights you because you can just jump right in their face and be aggressive. Um, however, it is gonna be a little bit more wide open, so it's gonna be a bit a bit more of a mid-range map. Um, so anyone that's really strong with your hit scan, with your shock, and you know, LG taping, is gonna see a lot more success on uh, on ages than you would on this map.